What's up guys, it's Davey here from phonebluff.com and in this video, I'm gonna finish what I started with the Nokia Lumi 920. I already did a drop test and it survived. I did a hammer and knife test and it survived. The thing actually looks like a champ. So I'm gonna take it to the next level and see just how much damage it can take before it actually cracks. And I mean that literally. So I'm gonna run it over with my car and then we'll do a whole bunch of other crazy stuff if it actually survives that test. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and place this thing in front of my car's tire face up. All right, so we got some tire marks on here, but let's see if the screen works. And it does, so that means we get to go to the next level. All right, so survive the car test. Let's take it to the next level. I'm gonna smack it with this piece of wood as if it were a baseball, and let's see if it survives that. So I'll go ahead and back up. Is that good? All right. And I'll do it with the screen facing it, so. Alright, so you probably shouldn't try that because the screen isn't turning on. Now, it doesn't actually look cracked, but I'm trying to power it on and it's not responding. I'm going to go ahead and try to see if I can get this thing to turn on. And uh, if so, we'll continue. If not, this is probably the end of this test. Alright, so the Lumi 920 is still not responding. Maybe I took it a little bit too far. Obviously, you're never going to do that with your phone. But I did promise you guys that I was going to crack the phone. And technically, it hasn't cracked. Let's see if you guys could actually see it. I mean, it has scratches on the screen but it's still actually not cracked. So I'm gonna see how long it takes to actually crack this thing open and we'll go ahead and start that by throwing it up in the air. So I'll go ahead and back up and I'm gonna chuck it in the air pretty high. Is that a good? I saw something fly out, but it's just a SIM card door. So go ahead and pop that thing back in. Pop back in, and uh, you can see the damage on here. I mean, big time damage on the corner, but not that bad, and it still hasn't cracked. So we'll go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and throw it against the wall. All right, so I said I was gonna throw it on a wall, but there actually isn't a wall here. What I meant is the light post. So I'll go ahead and throw it against the light post and see if it finally cracks the loop. So I'm gonna throw it as hard as I possibly could against this little stone part right over here, so. There you go, finally cracked it. So <laughs> that's what it would probably take for you to crack your phone. This thing did really, really well. The drop test handled it like a champ. And that's probably the most realistic one. Hammer and knife test and key scratch test, they're pretty good. Obviously, my goal here in this video was to destroy it. Seems like I've done that and uh, it's kind of coming out of this little frame. I'll go ahead and do it one more time and see what it looks like on the inside. <laughs> Fail. So, for those of you guys who are curious what it looks like on the inside of the Lumi 920, this is the front screen glass cover thingy. Completely came off. You got the uh, layer right over here for the screen. I'm trying not to cut myself with all this glass. Got this protective little, I don't know what the hell this is, but anyway, that is that. And let's see if we can pull it out completely. Yeah, I don't want to cut myself. So, I mean, I don't know if you guys can see that, what it looks like on the inside. Pretty interesting. I mean, how often will you get an opportunity to see what it looks like on the inside? I'll go ahead and try to see if I can take this thing out completely. You know what? I'm just gonna smash it really quick on the floor. All right, so you see the parts on the floor over here. It's all over the place. Here's what's left inside the device. And, oh, there you go. So here's the battery. You guys are wondering what that looks like. So it actually looks pretty cool. 
Um, here are some of the other chips. This is where the uh, SIM card slot goes, or at least it used to. It used to be over here. Um, and some of the other parts. So, anyways, that is pretty much it for me and this torch test on the Nokia Lumi 920. Obviously, I took this thing to the most extreme level. It's a really durable phone. Just don't smack it against, you know, a light pole or don't hit it with a big wooden stick and you'll probably be good. But anyway, that's it for me in this video. If you liked it, if you found it helpful, I don't, I don't know how you find it helpful. Maybe it shows you how durable the phone is. But anyways, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel because we'll be doing a whole bunch of more crazy stuff like this. And don't worry, I have another Lumia. I'll be doing a review very soon. So thank you for watching.